No, I, uh, I think we'll just start this off with some question and answer. Or is there anything you want to start off with in no. regards to the uh, to the film? No, I'm glad I got laughs and appreciate that. So thank you. Let's go out there with the audiences. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Where did you get the idea of those? <clears throat> My crazy imagination, I guess. I I just done a job in Nova Scotia. Uh, for a tourism campaign, and so I was out there dealing with all the farmers, and I just was in love with it. And then I, I don't know, I just I like Brooklyn, and I like New York, and I like farming, so I tried to com combine the two. This is the result. Yeah, and then what I found out is actually one of the actors is is uh, she. There's a condition. I don't know what it's called. There's a name for it. It's an actual condition that exists. Yeah. If you look on YouTube, there's someone. I think she's actually a New Yorker, and she like woke up one day with a perfect British accent. Yeah. And it's a true story. It's on Live League or YouTube. Yeah. And it's it's funny, but it's also sad because she like for two years, she, for two years she walked around and everybody thought she was faking an accent. Which if you if you know anybody that's ever gone to Australia for two weeks and came back, I might. You just like they're openly they're openly mocked. And so this woman, like, you actually kind of feel sorry for her in this little clip, you know, because it is real. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys shooting on? We shot it on the, right. uh, we shot it on the X-Men. So No lens adapter. No lens adapter? How long did it take you guys to shoot it? Two and a half days. Right on. Um... Where did you get the actors? Uh, casting director. So you, you had full on auditions for it? Uh, I wouldn't say full on auditions. Half on? From, from concept to delivery, it was the money. Half on. Wow, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was half So I'd, I'd say, like, I don't know, the auditions were maybe I did like four hours of casting. Probably. Are you planning on uh, shooting a feature or turning in this? Some longer feature uh, Nope. No, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what, what other projects are, do you guys work together? Yeah. Yeah, we do quite a bit uh, together. Mm -hmm. We both do about the mm -hmm. I'm a commercial director mainly, and the, he's a DP, so Trent shot the Circle Nine. Oh. And um, we work together. Yeah, and Budget. <laughs> All right. I have a question, actually. Um, where, where did the idea of the um, um, documentary-style filmmaking come in? Because there was a few clips, especially the one at the end with the, the old guy sitting there. Mm -hmm. It seemed almost as if he was talking about that particular topic of your film, or it could have been almost anything. Was he was he cast in that role, or was that? Yeah, he was cast. But he was yeah. real. He really is a part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything is scripted, so the documentary format is just how I approach the process. Interestingly similar to District 9. With no aliens. Without aliens. <laughs> yeah. The farmers and these aliens. Did, you, did, did Trent have any... Uh, I mean, because District 9 was shot like a documentary. Was there any influence or any, any ideas coming from you to shoot that particular fashion? Yeah, this I'm totally <laughs> Neil Walsh that actually was my question. Neil, Neil, Neil Walsh Bug Hutch repeatedly before uh, we went off to Johannesburg for District 9. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the credits? The, the yeah. About nine minutes of the credits was Is your name actually Neil? That's what I meant. Yes. Yeah. Neil Walsh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Really quick, any, any other questions really quick? Oh, we do have one in the back. Uh, where does the title come from? I just like it. Bug Hutch. That's the, <laughs> that's the proper pronunciation, Bug Hutch. Um, yeah, no, it means, because when I was researching it and researching sort of, uh, I don't know, it's called farm terminology or small town terminology, but I came across this like farm slang and one of the slang terms was bug hutch, which actually means cinema or theater. So it has no relevance or it doesn't mean anything in regards to the film. I just like to know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I just like saying it. Go ahead. Try to use it once a day. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to. Know. The scene that stands out for me is the dodgeball scene. I don't know if it's nostalgic for me or something. Or... Those are actual dodgeballs. Oh yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that was like the most expensive thing of the whole film. Yeah, those dodgeballs. We, I, I kind of wanted to do a whole other short. Unfortunately, it's been made. It's, I think it's called Dodgeball. Yeah. But it was so fun yeah. with all those kids. Yeah, it was, it, was it was so fun in the gym with all those kids. And I just wanted to keep shooting in there. And they just could keep going for hours anyway. So. Yeah, the crew got a workout. It was good. Yeah. There was about 40 balls flying around that room. And, 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 you know, kids get bored after about 10 minutes, so they were firing their heads and stuff. But yeah, the, kid, the kids thought it was really fun. Thank you. Now you have to use that mic since you just brought it up. Any other questions out there? Oh, one in the back. Go ahead. Was the film scripted or kind of... No, completely scripted. Yeah. Any impro improvisation? I'm trying to think here. Farmer. Um, we did a little bit of, of improvising, but it was it didn't make the final cut. But the little girl was great. Yeah. And I think all your actors they were they were excellent. You had a really good, um, really good performances. I think you got them all in question. Mm -hmm. At one point, you sort of had bigger budget expectations for the film, and we thought, how cool would we go to New York, get a kid, because I think we watched, uh, I can't remember, we saw some movie with this little kid, and you know, there's just something way that accent, it's just amazing, but um, Lydia, yeah. yeah, Lydia did a really good job on very short notes, like it was, it was under a week, she started practicing now, she had a friend in the family, uh, who was a real New Yorker, who's moved to Vancouver, so she just hung out with him and basically reached out to him for And they were all local actors used at that moment, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the actors. Vancouver actors. Yeah. Excellent. Anything else? All right, guys, please thank help me so and thank you, Miss Gales, for taking us on our investment.